following program is classified M, suitable for mature audiences 15 years and over. Comedy recommends the use of the parental lock. Anyway, I, I stayed up all night last night and I made 186 changes rippling right through the script. And I think it gives the whole thing a kind of zing and urgency and freshness that wasn't there before, you know? But all you seem to have done is used the global replace and changed Fiona's name to Susan. Yeah. Uh, you see, uh, what I think, it, it gives a whole new level to the narrative, don't you think? You've not done anything to the story, it's just a name change. You are so negative. It's on holiday in the Caribbean. And we're here in Ashburton. Oh, God. No, 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 no. I've heard about this place. I've wanted to come here for years. Hmm? The idea of being able to teach people comedy. <laughs> exactly. So, without any further ado whatsoever, I'll call for questions for our distinguished guests. Yes? What was it like working with Magda? Oh, yeah. oh, I loved her. She was, loved her. She was she amazing. Did you see her that video? And it actually turned out that we gave him puce. I mean, the funniest shit happens in the paint wholesale industry. Like, like this other time, we had this guy come in and like he had this Excuse really me. big. Michael. Sorry, Pete. Michael. Elliot. Elliot. Did I just see you giving Michael Veach money? I thought this was an unpaid gig. Well, I couldn't expect Michael to do it for nothing. He's a working actor on TV. It's just the ABC. Actually, talking about working actors, I'm wondering if you'd like to accept a position as a senior lecturer here, straight to the top without having to go through junior lecturer first. Uh, no, thank you, Elliot, because quite frankly, I don't believe that comedy can be taught. Either you get it or you don't. I wouldn't say that. Ten years ago, I knew nothing about comedy, but hey, look at me now. <laughs> prepared a superb dining experience. <laughs> Come on, Ben, dinner. Tegan. Where's Bruno? I think he might be in the toilet. Bruno, get off the throne. Dinner's on the table. Come on, Ben. Come on. Ben? <laughs> ben? Oh, where's the bloody remote? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Dad? Dinner. Oh, oh, yeah, very funny. Just get out there. That guy I was watching is bloody hilarious. He's only 22 and he's already got a three-picture deal with Paramount. Ben, do you mind? We're trying to have dinner, mate. This is disgusting. Well, you don't have to eat it if you don't want to. Just like you don't have to come over here and do your washing or, or, or borrow the car or have your friends over to watch the big screen TV. Peter, that's enough. It's a lovely meal. Thanks for making it, but it's a little bit fatty. That's why it tastes so good. It doesn't taste good. You have been so brainwashed by the food Nazis. Enjoy, and that's an order. And save some room for the chocolate mousse. Dad, we don't all want to turn into fat pigs. You don't see Bruno complaining. Look, seeing as we're having this magnificent family meal here this evening, uh, I think this is a great time for me to drop a bit of a bombshell. You paid full price for the pork. <clears throat> no. I have decided to retire. Retire from what? From show business. Dad, you haven't worked for like two years. No, if this is what your father wants to do, I think it's great. Well, I guess. I mean, why flog a dead horse? Yeah, I mean, you should get out while you're hot, huh? What about the film? Bruno, there is no film. It's just a script and it's dead in the water. Or well, because you told Brian Brown to get fucked. Bruno, this is an opportunity for you. You don't have to go on leading the pathetic, insecure life you have now. You can be whatever you want. You can be independent, motivated, your own man. You need more gravy. What am I meant to do? I don't know. I mean, I met a guy yesterday who was pulling six figures washing dogs. Whatever. The point is that as of this precise moment, 7.07 on the 16th of October, as witnessed by my family and friends, I am no longer a comedian. So, Mum, do I have to eat this? <laughs> oh, I was just thinking of that fantastic line from Minder, the world is our lobster. <laughs>
It's true, though. I mean, look, we can do anything we want. It's fantastic. You know, we could we could buy a bookshop in a country town, you know, or 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 or, or a camping ground. Peter, you know, we could play please. tennis. Please, I'm really worried about this client. She's bulimic, and I can't even get her to talk about it. You're right. Camping stinks. Jeez, I don't even know why people go to those places. They're like mobile slums. <laughs> now I've got to do something completely different. Something I've never. Some sort of a course, maybe computing. I don't know. Remember when we went to that alpaca breeding farm? That, that was fantastic. Remember that? It was such a beautiful place. I mean, you love alpacas. Peter, no, I'd love an alpaca to sit on your face right now. Just forget it. I'll do this in the morning. No, sorry. I mean, yeah, OK, we'll, we'll talk about it tomorrow. <clears throat> Good night. Country pub. What is all this stuff, anyway? Oh, they're just uh, photos I had printed off, you know, to give out to fans. Well, you've got quite a few of them left there, haven't you, Dad? Don't be a smart ass. Just put them in the bin. Peter, these are not recyclable. <laughs> no, don't be silly, Nicholas. They're just paper. Oh, well, that's what a lot of people think, because it's called photographic paper. But actually, it's coated in a polyethylene resin, not to mention the chlorobromide gelatin solution. All oh, right. Oh, well... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thanks for that. Mm. You throwing that out? Yeah, do you want it? Take it. No problem. There you go. Just chuck him in the bin. You know, Dad, I've got to hand it to you. You are some kind of genius. You actually got someone to pay you for doing this shit. Just put them in the bin. I don't know a hell of a lot about radiology, but it's like it's just a big camera, isn't it? So I was thinking we might get, like, you know... Young medical students to do that for us, you know? Hello? Hello? You are ridiculous. Ridiculous, eh? Mm -hmm. Have you got any idea how much radiologists make? No, but you're not a radiologist. OK, OK, so you have to be one to own one. Fine. Now, I didn't know that, you did, but now I know. That's what this is. It's research, OK? It's called due diligence. I really don't have time for this. Just, just let me tell you about one. It's outstanding. Do you know what peonies are? Yes. They're flowers, OK? This is a peony farm. $1.2 million. They've already got 40,000 peonies growing there, OK? But you know the really fantastic thing about this? It's that peonies only have a three-week picking period. The rest of the year, we can just chill. Hmm. So these peonies, they just grow themselves, do they? Oh, come on, Andrea. Why do you have to be so negative all the time? This is a fantastic opportunity. I'm doing it with you or without you. We are going to be peony farmers. Oh, I found out the agent was bullshitting. Really? Yeah. Apparently, like, you have to spray them and weed them and, uh... What's that called, you know, when you, when you have to cut them? Pruning? Uh, pruning, that... that's it. You yeah. have to do that too. Apparently, oh. it's, it's actually quite a lot of hard work. Mm. So you thought you'd open a restaurant instead? Mm. Yeah, well, I think it's a better fit with my personality and lifestyle, you know. I mean, I love food and, uh... You're right to say you love people too, but you don't really, do you? No, I don't. What do you think of the name? Um, oh, well, uh, It's like, it's, it's meant to be like a kick in the nuts for the food Nazis, you know? It's oh. about hoeing into the good stuff. You know, right. the, your roast potatoes with lashings of sour cream and your steak and your ice cream. Mm. Real, honest, enjoyable food. Mm. Mm. Peter, why do you always have to make a big production out of everything? I mean, why can't you do something simple, something normal, like Bruno? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> I just hope I can make Lizzie as happy as you guys obviously are. Oh, <laughs> Check this out. Genuine Italian Assaggio Prezzato from Italy. Where's the Drano? The shopkeeper told me that you cannot get this cheese anywhere in Australia. Where did he get it then? How much do you reckon I paid for this? Benny Martin, huh? Genuine yeah. French style cognac. Made in China. A hundred bucks for the whole box. You can't even buy one bottle of the French stuff for, you know, for that sort of money. Yeah, Dad, <laughs> you could actually drink the real stuff. Peter, you know, we are trying as a family to support you in this new direction. We really are. I don't think it wasn't appreciated. Yeah, but we can't keep going on like this, Peter. When you leave us to do all the work and then swan off to buy ridiculous cheese and fake cognac. I mean, do you understand? Listen, sweetheart, it's only until we get staff, all right? Cheese and biscuits, anyone? Yes, you don't. Stacy, look, I told you I'm not available. I quit showbiz. How much? I'll be there in ten. I thought you gave up acting. Sweetheart, get real. We just spent 500 bucks on cheese. Try these on, guys. Yeah, well, at least these aren't so bad. Mm. <laughs> now, <coughs> the Sun Smart campaign is looking for someone credible, recognisable. Someone that the people will like and listen to. Like Hugh Jackman. Like. Look, we've already discussed this, Leanne. We're talking to Peter now. Peter Moon, comedy legend. You know, people still love you. Yeah, if they can remember who he is. Leanne, as you can see, we've still got a few non-believers in the ranks. But I'm prepared to put my career on the line. Because I know, no matter what the research says, that you are the one. Yeah? You've got this unique everyman quality that just cuts right through. What about Rove? Fuck off, Leanne! Jesus. He will bring to this campaign all the respect and dignity it requires. Twenty dollars! All you can eat! For Kumajor! Go for just twenty dollars! Hello, ladies, make your way inside. I think there's still room. Bueno appetito! You know, th there's actually a surprising amount of hard work goes on behind the scenes in a restaurant. Get out of here. Yeah. I mean, you know, I've got to admit, in the past, I have resented paying 25 bucks for a steak, but when you stop to think about it, you know, someone's got to go and buy the steak, they've got to bring it back, they've got to cook it, there's rent to pay. No yeah. shit, Sherlock. Yeah. He spent the whole night poncing about from table to table. He didn't lift a finger to help us in the kitchen. I honestly don't know how much more I can take of this. Of course you can't. You're exhausted. <sighs> You've just got to tell him. Mm. Do you want another coffee? Yeah. Oh, what is that awful smell? Dunno. Must be the dog. Oh, Weisenthal. <laughs> you need a bath. Didn't you say one of Peter's friends has started a dog wash? Yeah. Oh, I'll um, get you the number. Sally, bulimia is a very serious illness. I think it'd be good if you tried the program at Cedar Gardens Clinic. It's a very beneficial program. It's... Ew, you smell like cheese. There you go. Smells like roses. Oh, you do smell like roses, don't you? You smell beautiful. 
Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Fine. Come on. Come on. Excuse me. Where'd you get that? What? That occasional table. Oh, that old thing. I got it from Peter. He was throwing it out. Why? No reason. Good. Hello? Yes, it is. Oh, that's fantastic. Yep, I'll be there very soon. Thank you. Where are you going? Oh, work. Oh, Sally's parents say they've agreed to meet with me again. Listen, you fantastic. can't just leave me here alone to run, you know, run the whole place. Run what? There's nothing to run. We've got one customer. Oh, and here comes another one. Oh, uh, uh, just Bruno. Yeah. Nice to see you too. Bruno, what happened to your face? It's a long story. Oh, I've got to go. See ya. All right. Why'd you throw my occasional table out? What? The occasional table I made when I was in rehab. Why did you throw it out? What, you mean like 15 years ago? Yeah. That meant a lot to me. I was at my low stab. That table got me through it. What's going on, mate? You haven't smoked for years. Put it out. Oh, I'm really on the edge, Peter. The, the dog washing's not working out. I'm broke, and now this betrayal with the occasional table. Listen, mate, I really had no idea it was going to upset you this much. Look, come over here and sit down. Come on. I will get the table back for you, OK? Excuse me, can you, can you smoke in here? Uh... Oh, what a great place. All you can eat and smoke. I'm telling all my friends to come here. What? You can't smoke in restaurants. It's illegal. I just realised what's wrong with this place. We have to ramp it up. <coughs> God, craps was that? Dad, do you want some? Yeah. Certainement, monsieur. Un moment, s'il vous plaît. <laughs> voilà, monsieur. Maintenant, le brandy. Le <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. What happened to you? Uh, it's a cooking accident. Look, um, this is sort of awkward, but um, I was wondering if I could have my table back, please. Whose table? Well, the, the table that I gave to Nicholas by accident the other day. Oh, by accident. You dumped it on the nature strip. Yeah, and I, I've, I've since found out that it has great sentimental value. A friend of mine made it while he was in rehab, so... Oh, nice friends you've got. Well, you can't have it back. There's a pot plant on it. It's uh, nailed on, is it? What? The plant. I mean, you, you could just take it off the table, can you? Well, I don't want to take the plant off. Anyway, it was broken. I fixed it. It's mine. I knew you'd understand. You guys ready to roll? What happened to your face? Oh, just a small cooking accident. Nothing to worry about. Oh, my God. He looks like a fucking lobster. <laughs> OK, it'll be fine. Makeup. We'll, we'll just slap some on and, and no one will notice. Oh, ah, ah. We could have had Hugh Jackman. Fuck off, Leanne. Hi, I'm Peter Moon. Hi, I'm Peter Mo Moon. Oh. Right, look, I've managed to reschedule for next Monday, OK? Right. My ass is on the line here, so please don't fuck it up again. Oh, no, it was just a freak accident. We just started a restaurant called The Fat Pig. I mean, you might like to... Can you... Just be here on Monday with an approximately normal face? Sure, sure. It's ironic, isn't it? The minute I turn my back on the industry, they can't get enough of me. Tony and Ad, isn't it? No, this is a major campaign. My face is going to be everywhere. Oh, lucky mm. us.
Anyway, mm. I've got a big day tomorrow. Yeah, what's happening? Well, Sally's finally agreed to admit herself into Cedar Gardens. Was that where Bruno was locked up? Treated, yes. Yeah. That's where I met him, remember? Yeah. So, th that must have been where he made that crap table. Yeah, it would have been. Right. I hate it the first few days, but everyone's been so nice. I'm feeling a lot better about myself. Thanks. Wonderful. And now that you are feeling a bit more comfortable, uh, I'd like to talk to you about a few... Excuse me. So sorry to interrupt. What are you doing here? Well, I was just wondering, uh, you, you know that woodworking therapy guy? Is he still working here? Oh, or? Yeah. <sighs> fat pig! It says fat pig! Is that meant to be about me? No, 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 no. <laughs> How you feel inside the count, Sally? You're okay. Right. Check it out. He's still getting the loonies to make the same tables after 30 years. Peter. <laughs> oh, sorry. Here, take this. 10% discount. Kids eat for free. See you, sweetheart. <clears throat> Don't look for something. It's got nothing to do with you. We'll just go inside and have a nice long chat now, okay? You happy with the ad? Well, yeah, I loved the shoot. I loved it. Yeah. No, I'm happy to. I got it. Elise Platt, 9am tomorrow morning. I'll be there. See ya. Bye. Australia has the highest rate of skin cancer in the world and here today to launch an awareness campaign is a familiar face. A blast from the past and a very funny man. Would you please welcome Peter Moon? Thanks, Elise. Uh, look, before we talk about skin cancer, I just, do you mind if I mention that I've just started a restaurant well, in Melbourne? Yeah, I'll just fuck off then, shall I? Fantastic. You all got their snouts in the trough, they're all paying full whack. We are cleaning up. No, Peter, I'm cleaning up. You're just poncing around like a complete waste of space. Andrea, try to get your head around the big picture just for once. We do this for, I don't know, five years and we are on easy street. I can't take five more minutes. You are so negative. What's wrong with you? Hi, ladies. Is everything all right? Marvellous. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll see you real soon, OK? Great. Thanks for coming. Ah, Bruno, I've got something for you. Come inside. Ta-da! It was tough to get it back, but what are friends for? I don't want it. What? I've packed in the dog washing. I'm going to start my whole life afresh. I just came in here to say... I don't want to be your friend anymore. Come on. Sit down. Have some crepes, Suzette. All right. Really, you should never, ever let yourself get so discouraged. I mean, I, I thought this place was dead in the water. But <laughs> look at me now. It's great, you know? Never, ever, ever, ever give up, you know? Like... Power through the bad times, enjoy the good times, because life is for living. I think it might be time to get out of the restaurant business. What are you talking about? Well, you did actually just kill someone. You know, you really ought to be ashamed of yourself. Death certificate. That's my boy. Don't listen to him. This joint is fantastic. I mean, the funeral business is doing it tough these days. 
What, with your health foods and your fancy life-saving drugs and your bloody anti-smoking campaigns? Sure, people are living longer, but are they happy? Exactly. We're closing it. Oh, that'd be a shame. What's the, uh, what's the turnover on this joint? Welcome to the Fat Pig Restaurant <laughs> under new management. Don't forget there's a discount for everybody at a funeral near you. Todger. Todger. Willie. Willie. Knob. Knob. No, the, the K is silent, it's just knob. Say it again. Knob. We'll try that again, shall we? Knob. Knob. Plonker. Plonker. Tool. 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 